position. This is from the Board of Education, and they're saying I can't volunteer like I want to. I would, you know, volunteer is just part of a marketing program for a trainer. I would volunteer at a school, and then while you see me getting your kids to the Olympics, and then you see me taking the children's older brothers to the NFL, when the younger brothers and the younger cousins and the siblings and the grandkids growing up, they're gonna be like, pay Coach Mo to help. That's the income. That's that's. What that as I indicated, if the background check reveals that the individual was convicted or pleaded guilty of offense listed in the code, the district may no longer use the volunteer in the position. That's what she stopped. That's what she ended it. That's what she The law. A gu guidelines for your policy. I added, and this is a letter I gave the school board from heaven. Ohio law does not require criminal records checks for most volunteers. However, school boards may require them by policy. Policy, that's something that you make up with. That's what the, um, a lot of racist, racist organizations, the law says one thing, but then they say, well, we have a policy. That's what racist, that's, that's the definition of racism, policy today. When, when you hear a person say, well, our policy, that means they're a racist, controlled a by racists. They try to use their policy to supersede law, or use their policy to break the law. And now here's a situation where the woman used her policy to break the law. Here is the guidelines for the policy. If the background check reveals that an individual was convicted of or pleaded guilty to an offense listed in the code, the district may no longer use the volunteer in a position involving unsupervised access to children on a regular basis unless a notice is sent to the parents. The notice must name the volunteer and indicate that the volunteer has been convicted of or entered a guilty plea to one or more of the prohibited violations. The notice may not identify the specific offenses. We'll Additionally, requires access to a child on a regular basis. The district is required to notify the volunteer that the fingerprints and criminal record checks may be conducted at any time. Broke it off right here. The district may no longer use the volunteer in a position, but didn't complete the sentence in a position with unsupervised access to children on a regular basis unless the letter is sent to the parents. That's the whole sentence. She broke the law. And so then, yep. So, oh, oh, um, like I said, if you want chief, the acting chief right now, Mark Chapel, to do it as well some other time. Yeah, okay, he can call me and we set up a, but I want to meet with him about annexing. Okay. I want to. I want to be specific. This is different. This is just for fun okay. to me. Okay. What I want to talk to him for is very seriously for the city. Yeah. Okay. The Ohio law does not require criminal record checks for most volunteers. Right. However, school boards may require them by policy. If a criminal record check is conducted on a volunteer, and the check reveals that the individual has was convicted of or pleaded guilty to an offense listed in RC 109.572A1, the district may no longer use the volunteer in a position involving unsupervised access to children on a regular basis unless a notice is sent to the parents. The notice must be must name the volunteer and incident that the volunteer has been convicted of or entered a guilty plea. No one or more of the prohibit, prohibited violations. The notice may not identify the specific offense. I have background and I'm trying to do something better with my life. The issue is this. It's individuals in position to make a decision it's their personal idiosyncrasies because prior to them, you were a coach. Right. The last regime recognized skill and talent. They knew you had it and they knew the children responded about the children progressing and the school coming out the winter as a result of that. 
Now they've shut down you, they've shut down all the people talented and the kids and the coaches they have don't know what they're doing. They got people that, okay, I'll do it, but I don't know anything about it. They're reading out a book. And the kids don't even and don't the kid, like the kids. And the kids, the kids know don't, that, and the don't kids don't respond to it. The Ravenna School System, the athletic department, that for the years that your children were there and you and your wife, coach, with coaching shirts on, moved, went to the state, and now you can't come on the school property. That's an individual's taking snippets of the law to support their area. The, the positions of power to people that are not from Ravenna. Not from Ravenna. And Jack Summers, never forget Jack Summers. He was a policeman in Ravenna that he loved. And they had cared not. And their, their, their goal is not the city. This no, is like a little a job, a job and they're going to leave here. And it's probably a punishment to them that they're here. They hate here. They hate it having to come here. They don't care about here. And it's a lot of that. It's a lot of yeah. here in many the positions teachers, of power. The teachers used to be honored. I We do something, and my parents are very strict. And I said, teachers said, oh, the teacher said you, for you to do it that way? Yes, all right, do it that way. Teachers were respected. We used to be scared of the teachers. Honored the coaches. The honored coaches was dads. And that's it. The, it's gone. Respect is gone. There is no respect of person. There is no respect of community. And I think it all stems from the people in positions of power being prejudiced. Prejudice is death. And then they, uh, they, prejudice has become a norm. It's okay to be prejudiced. That's what I look at the mask. You're prejudging people that got, they got a, a problem, but it's okay to prejudge now. Prejudgment is just the way of life now because yeah. the people in positions of power are prejudgmental, they're prejudiced. volunteer and the check reveals that the individual was convicted of or pleaded guilty to an offense listed in the code, the district may no longer use the volunteer in a position involving unsupervised access to children on a regular basis unless a notice is sent to the yeah. notice must name the volunteer and indicate that the volunteer has been convicted of a uh, has been convicted of or entered a guilty plea to one or more of the uh, prohibited violations. The notice may not identify the specific offense. Now, read what she wrote. Just read her. Read the second paragraph and then what she told me in the third paragraph because it's only three sentences. Okay. Your comments highlighted the protocols surrounding the vetting of volunteers through background checks and fingerprinting. As you indicated, if the background check reveals that the individual was convicted of or pleaded guilty to an offense listed in the circle, I mean, listed in the code, 
the district may no longer use to volunteer any position. There are certain felonies, regardless of the reason behind the infraction, that are automatic disqual disqualifiers. Unfortunately, districts are unable to use a volunteer in any capacity if the infraction falls into this category. And that infraction will be anything like child abuse. I don't have any sexual molestations, any child abuse, any things like that. No murder, no, no. Even if I had a murder, even if I had a robbery, those aren't the disqualifying factors. The disqualifying factors are like child, yeah. hurting children. Anything that hurts a child, nothing else. So that's a, you read it for a little while, you read it, the law for a little while. Yeah. Does it say in this letter what she said in this letter? No, it does not say that there are certain that are automatically disqualified. It doesn't say that. No, it says unless you send a letter to the parents. So she lied in this letter. So it doesn't matter what the record is, as long as you send a letter to the parents and parents are agreeable that the, the yeah, volunteer... They don't have to agree. Right, right. They don't you say know. the parents have it, to it agree. Yeah, as long as you send a letter to the parents, that's you, quali you qualify to, to volunteer. Yeah, and the parents don't have... The parents can just take their kids out to school. They can't tell the school who they can have and who they can't have. And that, that, that's true. Yeah. It does not say that the parents have any say. And then it says, you can't even tell the parents what the crime is. Right. So there's no automatic disqualifiers because you can't even mention what the crime is. Exactly. So she, she's not telling the truth here. What would you call that? That's malfeasance. What is malfeasance? Malfeasance is the wrongdoing. It's the wrongdoing. In your position. Anything. Okay, malfeasance okay. just means just wrongdoing. Okay. And her, and from her position, you cannot do things like that. You cannot do wrong and do people wrong. All right, thank you, Mick. All right.